Hello, everyone. So today, I have another growing together build for you. Kind of. I built a community center in Brindleton Bay. So this does use a lot of packs. I'm just going to tell you right now. But I think it's cute. It's fun to play in. Again, I built this for a game I was doing. So I, you know, have played in this numerous times. And it's a cool space. So with this community center, I decided that I wanted it to be a maybe old mansion that was retrofitted to house this community center. So right now it doesn't look like much, but I promise it starts to look kind of like an old Victorian type home. And I actually love this. Now, that being said, they did do, you know, a little bit of addition, a little bit of subtraction, and really made it a nice area for the community. And I love that it overlooks the harbor. I think that's just, you know, beautiful. I love this lot. And though... I don't, I haven't played on it. I put community lots on it quite a bit for how often I do play in Brittleton Bay. Uh, I just think it's, it's a good lot for community space. It's close to the downtown area. And I thought this would be a very fitting location for this type of home because at one point you wouldn't have had this type of thing. So it would have been, you know, this this would have been prime real estate for some wealthy person. So that is why it's sitting here. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, so here you can see I kind of cut out some of my building for this tower area. I played and played with this until I finally figured out what I wanted to do with it. Um... I don't think at this point I had played much with the round wall, or yeah, the round walls. But I did a little bit, so I was still, you know, learning and figuring things out. So, as you can see, there are some places where I put things and it looks weird for a while. Ignore that. They're kind of sitting there for a reason. They'll be used later. <laughs> or deleted. So here is what I'm considering an addition to this home. Maybe it used to have more of a garden space. They just didn't need those. So instead, that, that little area in the back with the glass roof is an addition. And I will tell you right now that uses windows from the greenhouse haven kit. Because I'm obsessed. If you plan on downloading a lot of my builds, that is one kit you want to buy because I use it a lot. The windows are just awesome for even non-greenhouse builds, so that is why I end up using it so much. I love a couple of the windows in there, and they're actual windows, so it's not like I'm building a screened-in area, but they're per it's perfect for a screened-in porch if you want that specific look. Now, I'm assuming the game will replace those if you don't have it with something similar. And there are similar things in the game. And also, I, I went a little crazy with them. <laughs> I like, as I said, I like these windows. <laughs> But here I actually use the screen version for that porch area. I wanted that to be a screen porch. As I said, I kind of knew exactly what I wanted to put in each of these areas. I, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything that I didn't know ahead of time what was going in there. Sometimes, okay, a lot of times with my builds, I'm not 100% sure as to what I want to put in there. But eventually I figure it out. 
Okay, so here again, I'm going to say the tower existed, but they put new windows in it. Okay, the tower was there. I, I'm thinking I changed the size of that tower at some point because I haven't looked at the finished product in a little bit, but that looks awfully big. Maybe not. I don't know. I do play around with this tower quite a bit. It changes a lot. As you can see, me playing with the roof, me playing with all these other things. But the finished product is awesome, and I love it. Uh, and so I will say that a lot of this video is building. When I was editing this, I was trying to kind of keep it slower because I know you guys have requested that. However, it was like 30 minutes in and I was still building. So I sped it up. As you can see, I've changed that tower again. <laughs> and yeah, so didn't want to make this a, a long video. And I do apologize about the save screens in there. I try to edit those out, but I was playing edit while listening to a meeting I was in, not work related, well, work, work related, but another meeting I was in and probably shouldn't have been because I think I missed a few things. So apologies for that. I'll try to do better next time. All right. So as you can see, I definitely changed this up so it doesn't look as much of like an old Victorian in that tower area. And as I said, mentally I'm thinking this is something they went through when they decided to turn this into a community center and update it. You know, they made bigger windows, things like that, but still kept the charm. So I will say it's still a very charming build. I don't think I changed those windows much after this if at all don't quote me on that though okay <laughs> so as you can see still trying to figure out roofing i needed the way that roof looked i just wasn't sure what i wanted to do with it so i played around with everything else first and then kind of tackled that later on so here i am just trying to make everything look decent and create a fun space that originally I was going to have that just be a nice outdoor balcony. However, as I tend to do, it changes because I do that. Most builders do. So if you're trying to build and you're like, why is this not perfect like all the YouTube videos I watch? Because we edit it out, I promise. I've been trying to throw more of my changes in because of that i've seen that in some groups where they're like i don't build like you know the youtubers do and i'm going nobody builds like they do because what you see is not the full build process <laughs> it is the edited version to make it interesting all right so here you just see i'm kind of playing with some things and still trying to figure out what this build is going to look like from the outside. I, yeah, I, it took a while. It took a while and I wanted to show this. I wanted to show the thought process, the changes to an extent. Like I said, I did have to cut a lot out because this was like over almost an hour and a half video when I sped it up originally. Actually, no, it was almost a two hour video when I sped it up originally. And then I did the build part and made that faster. <laughs> and it was still like an hour and a half. So yeah, there's a lot that's been edited out of here. But you get the idea of what, you know, my struggle was. And apparently my editing struggle. So yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Right, you can still see I'm playing with, you know, building. Yeah, yeah. It Just trying to figure all this out was, was a lot of fun. So, 
not surprised that there was a lot of build to this build. <laughs> but it was worth it. That's all I'm saying. All right, so... I am actually recording this a few weeks before this goes live because I had the videos, finally had some time to sit down and do the recordings, and I thought some decent editing. And so I'm doing these throwback ones. I'm trying to get all of those recorded, edited, and out and scheduled. So that's one less thing I have to do, and I can work on some of my bigger builds. I believe, if I'm thinking of when I'm scheduling this correctly, I either had a trailer park as my last one, or possibly another larger build. And if it was the trailer park, the larger build will be coming up next. So make sure to like the video and subscribe so you get informed when that happens because I love that build. I did more landscaping play with that one. So, oh, and, and platform play. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. All right. So here you can see, I keep changing my mind as to how I want to do this, what I want it to look like. But I'm getting things in. And you, if you hadn't guessed, yes, a pool was going in that spot. <laughs> I kind of thought it might be obvious. And if it wasn't, surprise, there was a pool. So here, I originally was thinking a fireplace in that section. And then I went, no, 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 window. Because you're going to want to look out over the bay from what will soon be a library. So that was that's what I planned for that area anyway. I do move that around a little bit. The as you can see right there, I might that's pretty big for just a small cozy library, but I play around a little more too. So Okay, and then the other thing is again, I wanted that pool area to be open to the top. I end up putting a gym in that overlook area and I like that. It just, you know, I don't know. It makes it feel a little more open and airy for a workout. And for me, that would be what I would want. I don't do gyms. I, I That sounds bad. I don't go to the gym. I do have like a gym in my apartment complex that I can go to, but I haven't really gone to that either. I need to. I like walking outside. That's my thing. I like doing things outside or in the privacy of my own home. I'm an introvert. Can you believe it? An introvert with a YouTube channel. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> there's more of us than you think. Okay. But anyway. You can see here I'm still playing with this dang roof. Promise I figure it out pretty dang soon. I don't know why I was insistent on having that roof be like at an angle like that. Because... I do this and I end up making the top flat and I love it. And I need to remember to do that more often with these roofs because especially in a Victorian type home, that's common having that, that area there, a flat roof area, widow's walk, that type of thing there. So yeah, definitely need to do that more. All right, so here I'm just kind of getting all the stairs put in. I wasn't originally going to have a set of stairs going down to the pool area from the gym. But then I decided it made sense. And, you know, it worked. So that's what I did. And now just adding in the windows, figuring out what I want to do there. Um, how I want to do like the outside areas a little bit. Just to kind of, okay, this is going here, this is going here. <laughs> because, again, this is, you know, this was something that was new is the community centers. And it still is because, you know, it, it's been out, what, about a year? And so 
you know, I hadn't, I think I maybe built one. I might have built one in the Growing Together world that I just blanked on the name of. Sans Koya, isn't it? But this is really my first, you know, or second, you know, stab at this. And I haven't done one since. Watching this has kind of made me want to do another one. So if you would like me to build maybe a modern one instead, let me know in the comments below. Because I'll do that. It sounds fun. I might do it anyway, eventually. I have no idea at this point what I might be working on when this video goes live. Because I'm recording it so early. But... Who knows? I might be working on something fun. I have a feeling I might be working on the fantasy village that got voted in on my poll. For sure, because that one seemed to be a... Please do this. I think... I'm going to be putting up a poll about that build. Um, it should already be up when this goes live as to whether I should use custom content in that build or not. Now, I would try to create it where the custom content wouldn't be a ton of stuff because I want it to be playable for people who can't download custom content. Um, however, I think it would be cool to have some in there and I'm wanting to do more of those builds. So. All right, so here I've jumped into actual, like, you know, interior design stuff, and I'm doing the library. And again, this is another kit, the book nook kit. I love it. I use it. It's my favorite. Okay. I'm a reader, so that's probably part of it. But I just like how comfy and cozy, like, the furniture is. I love the bookshelves because I can make big, tall ones like this. And I use it in so many builds. It's just a handy kit to have. And I know there are a lot of people who don't like the kits. Personally, I like the kit or the idea of the kits because they're like, I'm not, I'm not a cast person to an extent. I mean, in my own play, I am. And I bought a couple of cast kits, but I don't own them all. The build kits, I own. And some of the other kits I own, but I, yeah, I like that I have the option of, you know, I'm not really into that and I don't have to have it in my game. Uh, now that being said, if they combined like a build cast kit and made it the same price, if the build items were cool, I'd still buy it. Okay. But I like that you can kind of cater the, the kits to what you like personally in your game. That being said, for us builders, it's everything. Any build kit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the builders out there are like, I own every one of them and I want more. But I feel the same way. So here again, a lot of the book notes. So if you don't own this, I have no idea what this library is going to look like for you. You should have those chairs, they're base game. But other than that, the Growing Together rug, if you have Growing Together, which really to play the community center, you kind of need. You can get away with this as a generic lot and it still works pretty well. So I don't know how many Sims would show up to it, but I will tell you recently, I set my builds to generic when I play test, I don't always move a sim in. And lately I've noticed that I've had more sims coming to my generic lots than I used to. So I don't know what's up with that. And currently, the last uh, week and a half, two weeks, and this is when I've been doing a lot more play testing, I haven't had any, like, crazy mods installed. I put most of my mods that I used for gameplay into a separate folder. And because I haven't been playing recently, I have been building. 
So I put all those mods into a separate folder and I just have like the better build by and I think like two others in my mods folder right now. So I don't think it's a mods thing unless it's a mod was keeping them from coming to my my generic lot. So that could be too. All right, so here I wanted to create a gaming space if you haven't figured that out yet. And I thought it was kind of cool. I know it's weird having it right off the library, <laughs> but we're going to pretend they put some soundproofing in, okay? There, There's some good insulation between that wall and the library. You know, it, there, you can't hear anything. <laughs> really... I didn't want to put the kids' room there, which is actually going to be located across the hall. So I thought this would work just as well. And, you know, it's The Sims. Unless you're in apartments, the noise thing doesn't, doesn't matter. So, yeah. Okay, so here, just kind of putting in some lighting. And now moving on to what I'm going to deem as the cafeteria and figuring out how I want that to work. And I'll say this is a bigger space than I had originally like pictured in my head, but it ends up working out pretty well. I, I wanted space. I, I know I put way too much space for how many Sims you can have on a lot at a time, but again, I'm also thinking about the players that do have mods that allow a few more, you know, a few more people to show up. I might have taken out a table or two. I do take out that fridge, or at least I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe not. I can't remember. <laughs> but... Yeah, I thought, you know, having some of this, I didn't put cooking, like, things in here. But, yeah, I thought having, you know, your your vending machines and all that was very realistic. So, the other part of the remodel of this home was that they took out the upper floors of this tower. I'm going to say maybe it was a bedroom. And th they decided to remove it. Now, for those of you who are like, what? You never do that, blah, blah, blah. I, I get that. Okay. I am a history freak. I studied, you know, like, architecture, history, architecture, all that. We're going to say this was run down a little bit. And the floor was already rotting away. So they just took out the floor and made it a nice big open space. They didn't ruin anything. It was already ruined. Okay? That's what I'm going with. All right. So here, I wanted to put in these, you know, kind of window seats. But I didn't want to change the window the way I had it. And... I think this looks so cool. I need to do this in more of my builds. I'm really picturing this in maybe like a cool like ski lodge, which is something I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, now that winter is almost over. But it's more of, I haven't played in Snowy Escape, like built in Snowy Escape. I don't think ever. So that might be something I'll look into doing is doing like a, a ski lodge type, you know, vacation rental or something. I don't know. Community lot, something like that. And uh, kind of play with that because I'm picturing that with a, in a ski lodge with maybe a nice fireplace. That might be a good another good CC build because I need a fireplace that is like two sided. And you could see through it. This is what's pic being pictured in my head right now, okay? This is what I go through <laughs> on a consistent basis, which is why I started building in The Sims, because, like, I mean, I've done it before. I, when the first one came out, I was, you know, I loved building in it. But I need that creative outlet because my mind is just like, ooh, I could do this, ooh, I could do this, and yeah. 
I don't do that for my day job anymore. And that's part of it. For those who haven't seen any of my other videos, I used to be a custom home designer. So that is, that is where a lot of this comes from. I went to school for interior design. And then, you know, the housing market crashed. So I, I didn't, didn't get to pursue that as much as I would have liked. But this is a good outlet for it. And the other thing I like is that I can kind of do what I want. And no clients tell me they don't like it. <laughs> change it. That's the big one. I don't like it. Change it. You could change it yourselves. And that's the beauty of The Sims. All right. So here I'm just playing with the seating. And again, you know, I'm picturing I want to stay true to the Victorian feel of this house. So this is kind of like just a seating room gathering area. They kept the fireplace, you know, more traditional furnishings in here. And this is supposed to be another like gathering place, maybe somewhere that, you know, they can meet and have tea, something like that. So very, lots of seating, but not too crazy. At least I don't think it is. Though, as I'm saying that, and you see these orange, you know, chairs and things, I, I just thought it looked cool. And I know it didn't match the rest of the room, but I didn't care. Okay. <laughs> I liked it, and it was staying. <laughs> All right, so now just kind of adding in some clutter, some decor, and really just making it look like a nice, a nice gathering area. I think I pulled it off pretty well. Now, one thing I am gonna say with the Sims team, we need some more round tables like those that are from realm of magic because i am tired of using those as my victorian themed furniture okay <laughs> so yeah we do we need some more some more stuff like that that you know i can use in these older homes okay so now I'm just adding in more lighting. I can't remember if I jumped over and showed I wasn't looking at the screen for a second and showed you that I built these. I put in a lot of bathrooms down here. And I believe if I don't delete one of them in this build i deleted it when i played in it and put something else there and that's gonna stay i gotta take a look and see uh what i did but i think i put like a debate a debate thing there because i had a sim that needed some debate skills so i think that's what i'm doing because i realized i put in three bathrooms right there and i'm like i don't think we need that many because there's some upstairs, too. So, not sure. But yeah, if the bathrooms are different, that's why. And I like the debate thing being there better. I think it's a good spot for that type of, of thing. And it fits. I think it fits well. It's a community space. It's not, you know, it's for everybody. So here I'm working on the kids' room. And I wanted to create kind of that, you know, space you can lock your kids in. Your toddlers, your infants, the ones that move around, you know. And you don't have to worry about them leaving, hopefully. <laughs> but it worked well for mine, but mine weren't the type that would uh, try to escape. So there's that. But I thought it was a cute little, like, kids area for them to play inside. I do have a playground that I put in. It's not a real big one because this build takes up most of this lot. But if you move it to a different lot and a bigger lot, add a bigger playground to it. I just didn't because I had this indoor space too. So here I struggled decorating this. I really did. And it changes on and off. I do like that wallpaper. 
and I really wanted to use it because, you know, it's perfect for like a kid's area or, you know, a community space, business, those type of things. Uh, but I end up changing that for anybody who's going, oh, I hate it. it. It goes away. If you love it, I'll try to use it again in the future. I promise. All right. So here, just adding in all the toys and all the things for babies. And then more stuff for kids. So the art tables, um, the, you know, I just blanked with the physics type stations. Um, I didn't get as much in here because it is a small space. But really for children, you have the pool. You know, they're able to go do participate in more things that are in this build so i figured they were well well taken care of here i am excited because i got to use this kind of like you know theater thing and i hadn't used that in many builds so that made me happy and you can see here i'm just kind of putting in some of these fun little wall stickers we have and trying to figure out what what will work the best there and this is where I decide that that, that wall's gone. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Because I found that cool little wall sticker. Okay, it's a big wall sticker. It's huge. But it works. And I like it. All right. So now I'm just kind of color coding things and making things look a little bit better. And figuring out what gate I'm going to put in there so that our toddlers aren't lost, locked in there forever. All right, finishing up some of the pool area. I believe I go through and change this. I also put a lot of lighting in here. It needed it. Okay, you could see I'm sitting here going, you can't, you can't see in here. But I, I like it. I think it looks kind of cool. It looks like it's an addition that, you know, a very modern addition that was added. And I absolutely love these spot A tiles for the wall in here. Again, sorry if you don't own that back, but yeah, this one has so many. But I do encourage you, if you're looking at a build and you don't have the pack, download it anyway. See what it looks like because... You might not, it might not be as bad as you think. I mean, there are times like I put in one little thing from a pat. It's literally like a small piece of artwork and that's all I've got from there. So I do that a lot too because I, I use other people's builds in my games quite a bit because when I start building, I don't stop. <laughs> okay. It, it's ridiculous. Like I'm sitting here going, oh, I was sitting down to play for a couple hours, and here it is four hours later, and I haven't played a thing. I've been building the whole time. <laughs> and I know others have that same problem. So, all right. So here I wanted a screened-in porch. This is where I put your, uh, you know, chess tables, all that fun stuff, just to kind of create another space. And just make it, you know, a fun little area. If you don't like the screens, put in regular windows. But I like the screens. And I think this turned out pretty cute. I I like it. I like that the door is like an open, you know, it looks like it could close, but it opens up and just creates a fun area. So... The other thing with this build is now that we have some other things for the kitties, kids, I would suggest if you own the four rent pack, maybe adding in the kids items that we got. So like the hopscotch and the marbles. And maybe instead of this being a path, you can make this into something you know, a little more fun. Put it up front. I think there's a little bit of room up front. But I didn't have those when I built this. So they're not included because that 
pack didn't, or that <laughs> expansion pack didn't exist. Okay, so here I'm kind of struggling to get some of this playground equipment figured out because I didn't want to lower the building. I I should have, but I didn't. So it got in eventually. But if you guys want to take that out and put something else in there, you might have to lower the building down to get it to fit. All right, so here I just wanted to create kind of a gardeny space that, you know, kind of fit a little bit with the Victorian home theme. Honestly, I thought about using the tool mod to put like some gardeny type things in this blank area that's next to this. I didn't do it, but that would be something if you use the tool mod that you could do to kind of create more of a garden looking space. I, I did, I thought about it, but I didn't, I didn't do it. And here, just kind of putting in some landscaping. I'm not sure why I jumped to landscaping before going upstairs, but I did. Keep in mind, this is still like, I hadn't done many videos at this point. So I probably jumped around a bit, <laughs> but it's okay. As I said, the finished product is really actually very cool. All right, so out here, I did put in a small like community garden space. I went crazy with these wall planters. I like them a lot. So they went in and just kind of made this a cute little, cute little area. I, I just keep watching this and sorry if I have moments where I'm just like silent for a minute. I keep watching this and going, Ooh, you know, this would look cool like as a modern type thing. And <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. That modern community center will probably be <laughs> coming to you soon <laughs> because I'm just like, yes. All right. So here I'm trying to build a stage. And this is going to be the music room. And if I had thought about this, you know, as I was building it, that would have been brilliant, but I didn't. So I struggled a little bit getting the stage set up, but I got it done and I really like how it looks in the room. It's just a small room. It's nothing huge, but it works. And I like it. I think it has some interesting things to it. Definitely got to use that little area from city living that you can, you know, play at just because <laughs> it fills that space up. So you can see after all of my crazy with that upper balcony, I completely get rid of it completely. And that is because I realized I wanted an art studio and I did not plan for that. Remember I said earlier, I knew where everything was going to go. Really, I did. I didn't plan on an art studio. <laughs> I think originally I was thinking I'd put an easel in the green or not greenhouse the uh, screen porch area like an easel or two and then I ended up putting the chess tables in there instead so I had to do something so I decided to create this little room and put in some easels and a window so you could watch them paint and I like it uh, it works well when you're playing game and you know, it's just kind of cool. So, you know, adding in some artwork because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that uh, art area yet. Uh, so I figured, oh, let's jump over and finish this room up a little bit. And I really wish we had more musical artwork. 
um, I have started going into the gallery to try to find things because we don't have a whole lot. But part of that is because I've been doing a lot of music-centered builds lately. As of recording this, I just finished up this past week the music st studio and the the modern more modern one and i was thinking of doing another like you know school with a music room i did the high school once already but i was debating about redoing that i don't know if i'm going to do that anytime soon but you know, my thought process is going that way. It's been, you know, a couple years since high school year came, years came out. And maybe it's time. So here I decided we didn't need that big of a pool. We need an indoor splash pad. And it was born. Okay. And I like it because when I had my Sims come play, it, it was perfect. Like, this is something for the, you know, toddlers. Well, we didn't have infants at the time. Um, or no, we did. Where am I thinking? Infants came with this pet. Uh, it's been a long day. But <laughs> we had the infants and the toddlers. And yeah, so that's something else they can do. So here I'm just adding like a shower area. And then next to that, those two rooms are bathrooms. So getting all that set up, getting the gym kind of set up and going. And just finishing up this floor because it is actually almost done, believe it or not. This floor came together pretty quickly just because really all that's up there was the music room, the art room and the gym. Nothing too like too design heavy, I guess. The The music room was probably the most design heavy of all the rooms. So you can see, I made the gym a little more design heavy. <laughs> because I had to. It was driving me nuts just having a blank floor space. So you'll see me put in like little areas and then I change the colors of things and yeah. So, but I like the finished product quite a bit. I think it creates some interest. So I'm moving out to the kind of this lobby area. I wanted to leave this area open. And I did that with the downstairs as well. And just kind of have a couple of seating areas and artwork. I didn't want a lot here. This is kind of your, you know, community community commute space <laughs> so I wanted to leave it you know, empty enough that you can easily maneuver where you needed to go so now just kind of finishing up landscaping and we are done with this build I do remember I I loved building this I it was definitely a labor of love and I will be doing another one. So I'm going to let you take a look at the interior photos. I took a couple of pictures. You can check those out as well. And I will be back when those are done.
All right, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this build. If you did, please make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel because, well, I like to know you care, okay? <laughs> if you made it to the end, just comment hi below. All right, guys, I am going to let you go and I will see you next time. Bye.